Will this end up being better than a Black Series figure? Stay tuned to find out. Welcome back. Now, on our recent trip to the north of Thailand in Chiang Mai, I picked up a couple of model kits, one of which is this Luke Skywalker Stormtrooper disguise figure. Now, this is from Bandai, and my understanding is that this will be made into a fully articulated six-inch figure. So I'm keen to find out if this will be better than a Black Series figure. We'll find out soon. Now, most of it is, of course, in Japanese, but it does say in the front here that it's got new technology. They call it triaxial jet finish, which I'm assuming is very similar to the face printing technology that Hasbro uses. In terms of cost, uh, I don't remember the individual cost, but this plus the Gundam I recently built, and you can watch that video up here, cost about $33 combined, so not at all bad. But I want to see what this is all about. So let's get it opened up. We'll take a look at the components. And then I will uh, tell you, or you can probably see for yourself, if this is indeed better than a Black Series. Right, here we go. Wow, damn, there's a lot of parts here. Um, We have the face, and it does look rather good, actually. More on that shortly. A lot of, I guess these like ball joints and things. Wow, this is really in depth. Um, I guess that's hair. It's like hair in four different parts. And obviously a lot of white and black, with it being a stormtrooper. So we've got stickers in this bag, more stickers in this bag. Uh, definitely a lot more to it than the Gundam I recently built. So we have more paperwork. Uh, this is telling us, ah, recommended tools, clipper. Uh, just as well, because I did bring with me this little clipper. I was gonna use that to change guitar strings, so we can maybe use that. I bought the lady's nail file. Um, wow, this is a lot more in depth. So, booklet. Uh, there's Luke in all his glory. And again, on the back. Uh, so we got, again, a lot of Japanese, but we are fortunate enough to have uh, letters and numbers showing us what pieces to use. Uh, and it is broken down by like, you know, torso, arm, legs, etc. Um, I guess all we can really do is give it a go, see how it turns out. So here's a quick progress report for you. Now, I should point out, unlike the Gundam, I am required to use the clippers and nail file for this. But as you can see, a uh, very good looking figure so far with great head articulation. So another quick progress update, that's us done the legs. And already it really is uh, taking shape. Now, without question, you do need to have the file to do this well. When these pieces are coming off the sprues, there are a lot of edges that need filed down. So if you are going to attempt one of these, definitely get yourself a nail file. But so far, so good. Okay, the build is now done, and to answer the question I posed at the outset, is this better than a Black Series? Yes and no. Uh, no, in as much as this is an extremely fragile, delicate piece. You have to be very careful when handling it, so on that basis, it's not as good as an actual action figure. However, in my opinion, it is better in as much as there are way more possibilities as far as posability is concerned. Now, in terms of the build, I didn't time myself, but I'm thinking it took me around about three hours to do. I did need to use the clippers and the file on basically every part. 
when they came off the sprues, there were those sort of rough little bobbly edges had to be filed down. Uh, difficulty, so-so, uh, a lot more difficult than the Gundam I built, but that was to be expected. Uh, definitely something a 15-year-old could handle, I'm quite sure. Now, in terms of what this comes with, you'll see here, this is obviously Luke Skywalker dressed up as a Stormtrooper. You also have the option of putting the Stormtrooper helmet on, but to do so you have to remove the head. It is not a helmet that just fits over, so you have to switch out the heads. There are numerous hands, different poses. You've got the long rifle that also is clipped to the extra hand, so if you wish to sort of change this out, you can do so. Stickers. It comes with stickers and water slide decals, neither of which I have applied yet. I just don't trust myself at this point. Uh, so I guess depending on your skill level, you may want to opt for the water slide decals, which I think will look better in the end. As I said, very poseable figure. However, you do have to be quite careful with it. Uh, it's not an action figure, so you would not give this to a kid to play with. But many sort of options as to how Luke looks when you, you want to display them. Also as well, interesting uh, stand this comes with. So this comes with a molded uh, foot plate that the foot clips into and you can then put that onto the rest of the base if you so wish. Uh, I believe there are other figures in this line so if you want to you can clip all these bases together to create a nice scene. Um, overall, uh, very enjoyable to build only my second model kit in over three and a half decades. So it did take me a bit longer than I'm sure a more experienced builder would take. But regardless, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Really enjoying the end result. And this face looks fantastic. So again, in closing, yes or no, it's as good as, or if not better than a Black Series for posability, for durability and uh, manhandling nowhere near as good as an actual action figure but if you are as old as i am you're not going to be playing with this thing so you're going to build it put it in a great pose and put it on display so there you go this was the bandai luke skywalker and stormtrooper disguise model kit i thoroughly enjoyed it i hope you did and if you did please leave a comment to tell me what you thought as always thank you so much for watching this video please like it please share it and if you haven't already done so, please do subscribe and stay tuned for more videos from All Things 80s.